guys welcome back once again it is me Molt so happy to be here with you guys as always and today we have another base build I know that I've been doing a lot of base builds recently I've just been having fun uh, messing around with things trying to figure out what really works um, for me you know I really like designing bases I like building them I don't like using other people's just fixing the camera <laughs> I don't like using other people's bases because that's not fun for me um, and yeah so I came up with this one as you can see uh, it looks like the number two so we're just gonna call it number two <laughs> so this is the number two base guys um, it is a trophy pushing base because uh, we are pushing right now in the clan and uh, yeah I'm having a lot of fun doing that I'm working my way to masters um, but so what that means is that obviously centrally we're going to have our clan castle and then we're gonna have our Exposed worked in um, right there. Let's bring in our clan castle because, as many of you know, as I always preach, the clan castle is very, very important. Um, it's probably one of your uh, best defenses when it comes to your defenses <laughs> because if you're in an active clan and it's full, then that really, really helps out a lot with stuff. Um, and then let's go ahead and bring in let's start bringing in some of our other stuff we're gonna do a uh, we have our triangulated mortar so we got a mortar right there a mortar right here and then a mortar right over here um, I'm looking at this on my screen right now as I uh, as I bring all these in and then we're gonna bring in our wizard and our air defense um, and for any of you who already saw the defense replay that I showed in my uh, Road to Max video, that's this base. So you guys can already see how well it's working. It has been attacked by multiple sets of maxed hog riders, and I've only lost one star on um, those attacks. So it's actually been doing really, really well for me so far. Um, let's go ahead and spread out our wizards around the base as well. Um... Where's that other air defense? So we're spreading out our wizards around the base as well. Um, and I made some tweaks to this earlier. I'm gonna bring, I don't think that goes in there. Remove, all right, sorry. Um, but yeah, so I made some tweaks to this earlier and I'm gonna try and figure them out while, while we look at this. Um, and we'll see what we can do but as you can see I am just spreading around um, just spreading around my resource collectors and or my uh, storages and just putting them all around the base which is very important because I do still want to try and protect them I don't want to put them all on one side because then people are just gonna be able to crush me and just take all of my resources which would suck because obviously I need my resources in order to uh, train my army and upgrade my walls and whatnot. Um, while you are trophy pushing, however, it is very important to realize that you should only be upgrading your walls because if you're upgrading anything else, then that means you are down a defense, which you definitely do not want to be. Um, is that right? Yeah, okay, so that's right. You don't want to be down a defense, guys. So if you are trophy pushing, uh, make sure that you only spend your gold on walls because, like I just said, otherwise you will be down a defense, which would not be good. Um, so as you can see, our um, our wizard towers cover practically the entire base. They do cover all of the resource collectors, which is very important so that you can't get mass uh, goblins or anything like that coming in and trying to shut you down. Um, I'm going to bring, I'm going to put this right here actually and take this cannon and put it up there and then bring this archer in here and then we're going to bring our archer queen over here one thing that I always love when I find bases dealing with heroes is when the heroes are um, close to the edge and they are um, not on and, they, and they're on the same side so you can easily pull them but right here as you can see the archer queen as well as the barbarian king are placed pretty well within the base um, which is going to make it a lot harder for um, anyone to pull them out. Also, the clan castle is placed centrally um, to help with pulling out the troops as well. It's going to be very hard to do that. Um, before, I had a builder set right here in the corner 
and that allowed people to drag my Archer Queen and Barbarian King out there. So I ended up removing that. Um, so we are going to save that base and uh, let's go ahead and just talk about the traps a little bit. I talked about them in my uh, Masters video, but you can see they're spaced throughout. I put them in the center of the two as well so that as the Hog Riders, which is the main point of the spring traps within the center, run around to all of the defenses, they are the spring traps are there waiting for them. Um, and it has worked very, very well so far. Um, so if you guys want to see a good defense replay, uh, go ahead and check out uh, my Road to Masters video and you will see that. But this is the new base, guys. I think I'm definitely going to keep this one until I reach Masters for sure. Um, I like the way that it's working out for me. I like the way that it looks. I think it looks really cool. And um, it's been working well. So if you guys want to try it out, go ahead and do so. Um, I have no problem with that whatsoever. That's why I show you guys these videos and why I am so into base building so that I can share what I find and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. And uh, as always, I appreciate the support, you guys. Um, I'm excited for this Road to Masters, and I'm excited for being at Town Hall 9, and I'm excited for YouTube in general with you guys. Uh, thank you so much for the support. Uh, you guys mean the world to me. I mean that. And uh, yeah, as always, guys, take care and make sure that you keep calm and clash on from all right. I'll see you guys later.